Well, if you see the globe today, it is cluttered with the countries. Smaller, bigger and very big also. But seeing all these things, seeing this cluttered world, today the world is known as global village. Centuries before, starting from 6th century, before Islam particularly, it was not like this. The world was rather too remote. Very long distances, very small tribes, very small groups of people living together, and no demarcated boundaries whatsoever. The globe or our earth was not divided as it is logically divided today. There the people lived wherever they found the food and fodder for themselves and for the animals. That was their dwelling place, that was their country, that was their state, that was everything for them. Today, if you see the map, there are very clear geographic boundaries that have been marked. But at that time, there were no geographic boundaries that were marked because, as I have already told you, the nations or the states or the countries, it was no concept over there whatsoever. So there was no demarcation of boundaries where those groups of communities lived. They lived there and they would migrate whenever the divine requirement or some problems unmanageable for them would rise up so they would like to move from one place to another place. Likewise, there is something very important in the world today and that is the interstate relations. Well, probably it absolutely was non-existent before Islam. Before Islam, since there were no countries, so there were no governments. There were no interests. There were no clashing interests. There were no far-flung areas known to the people. And they had, therefore, no relations with each other. Obviously, if there are no states from where the relations will come. Now all these things, they were not done by design. They were done because the world was not developed, because the world had no technology at that time, because the world had no vested interests and foreign policies in the absence of being a country, being a nation, being a state, or being an absolutely separate entity. That is why the world was so remote. It was very difficult to reach from east to west. Well, it is absolutely no problem to reach from west to east, north to south, or east to west today. There are helicopters, there are aeroplanes, and there are very fast-moving uh, cars and resources with the people. They can move whenever they feel like, and they can reach whenever they feel like. Also, there are so many developments which have shrunk the world. Sitting in your own small little drawing room, you can see a cricket or football match taking place in the United States of America, sitting in the front row while being in your own drawing room. At that time, these things were absolutely absent. There were hardly anything except 
the sword, the local instruments, or the local things which were required by that tribe or that community at that time.